Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a what's new at the drugstore video because I went to the drugstore, did a little bit of shopping, picked up some pretty exciting things I think, um, and some stuff I haven't heard anybody talk about and I didn't even like know was a thing. So if you like the drugstore videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Bailey. I upload three times a week and I would love it if you guys would stick around. Random question, what do we think of today's makeup? I went for more of like a cool tone thing, did all cool tone eyeshadows, and then I'm wearing... Um, Kelly Cosmetics Malibu on my lips, which is very cool tone, and I don't know if I like it or if I don't. What do you guys think? I feel like nobody does cool tone anymore, and I don't know, I'm just like not used to looking at it. But anyways, um, let's just get into haul video because that's why y'all are here. So let's first start with something I'm probably the most excited about because, again, I didn't even know this was a thing, and this is kind of like one of my favorite products from Physicians Formula, and they now have a butter blush. And in case you're new to my channel and you don't know this, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is seriously one of my favorites. I used it today. I love it. It smells like coconuts, and it's a very, very good bronzer. So when I saw that they came out with a blush version, I literally had to have it freaked out. This wasn't on sale, which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean... I mean I just had to have it and I almost totally missed it it was like hidden in the display like at the very bottom in the back so luckily I was able to see it so I am dying to find out if this smells like coconut like the original bronzer does it smells like coconut it smells just like the bronzer which I love and I picked mine up in the shade plum rose I'm not sure if they have different colors I just literally grabbed this one and ran so let's do a quick swatch and see how this is you know that's actually really pretty I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it on camera but I'll do a close-up of the swatch but I think it looks like it would be very very pretty just for those no makeup makeup days especially good for the summer um, which I know it's literally December right now but summer will be back don't worry so I'm very excited about this let's move on to some new lip products shall we so the first new lippy I picked up is from Revlon it's one of their new Revlon Ultra HD lipsticks and that's all I really know about it. It's in like a stick. They have maybe about 8 to 12 shades. I picked up the shade HD Desert and I think these are replacing the HD lipsticks that are in the metallic tube that get very messy very easily. They're a good lipstick but the packaging is terrible. So I do like the packaging of this better and these kind of remind me of the lip butters. Do you all remember those? Where it's super super sheer but it leaves just a beautiful wash of color. That's what this shade looks like. I've actually been wearing this to work for the past two days and I really really like it. I hate the smell of it though. Um, I don't know it just smells like cherries which is kind of weird um, but the color is really really pretty next I picked up a new lipstick from Rimmel London this is from their the only one matte lipstick collection and this is in the shade 810 the matte factor and I thought this would be pretty for winter it's a very like rusty berry well it doesn't look like a rusty berry on camera it looks a little brighter but I'll do a swatch so you can see Oh yeah, that's very, very pretty. Um, in real life, it's not as bright as it shows up on camera, but it's definitely a very pretty berry um, with a hint of like a rosy, like a dusty rose aspect to it. As the name claims, it does look like it's a matte formulation, and I'm very excited to try it. The next lipstick I picked up is from L'Oreal Paris, and this is one of their new Infallible Paints. And this one is in the shade Sultry Sangria, and I saw Tati's video reviewing the whole collection, and she was wearing this color, and it looks so freaking pretty and what's really interesting is that this has like an actual applicator because when you look at it you'd think it just has like a squeezy tube that you do like this but no it has real applicator which is nice and let's see a little swatch yeah it's definitely a very very opaque um I can't tell if it's a liquid lipstick or a gloss it feels like it would just be an opaque gloss but we'll see. But I do really like this color. It's like a really pretty holiday berry. And the last lipstick I picked up is from Maybelline. And this is from their Bold collection. I don't actually remember what it's called. But um, this one is in the shade Smoking Red. And this one is so pretty. I used this in a Thanksgiving Day makeup tutorial. So you could really see it there. But it's such a pretty red. That like, really is a smoky red. I think the name's perfect. The only problem with this is that it's so creamy. 
um, you're gonna need a lip liner or else it bleeds and kind of like gets everywhere. You need a lip liner with it, um, but the color is beautiful. I picked up two new mascaras. The first one is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel. I heard Rachel Labs talk about this and she really, really likes it for length. So I thought I would try it and it seemed really cool. And the other mascara I picked up is from CoverGirl and this is their So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara. And this one's actually very bizarre. It has a little um, like ball at the end of the wand so you're supposed to be able to get every single lash. I don't know. Usually CoverGirl mascara is not really my favorite but this one is very intriguing so we're going to give it a shot. I picked up one new brow product from Maybelline. This is their Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer and I heard somebody talk about this and it actually like filled in your brows really really well and seemed just very like cool. I haven't tried it yet. It looks like there's a lot of product on the wand, uh, but there's definitely like fibers in there, which is pretty cool. So we'll see how this works out. I picked up two pairs of lashes, which is super exciting. They're like my new favorite thing. The first one is this multi-pack from Ardell, and these are the um, 110s, and I'm actually wearing these today. And they were seriously the easiest things to put on. I just popped them right on, and they went on perfect. It was super easy. But I think they look really nice. They're not like too much, but just enough. And then the other ones I picked up are from Kiss, and they are the Blooming Lash. And it's kind of cool because if you look on the side, you can't see that. Uh, but if you look on the side, you can see that there's like lashes at different angles, so it looks extra full. And these were like five bucks or maybe six dollars. And I just thought they were neat, so we'll see how those work out. And then the final thing I picked up is a nail polish from Wet n Wild. And this is one of their One Step Wonder Gel formulations. And I got the shade Left Maroon. I'm actually wearing this color on my nails today, and I have like mixed feelings about it. Um, it has chipped a teeny tiny bit, but nothing too crazy. I wish the color was a little darker like it is on the cap. I feel like it is more like red in real life, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure this was like four or five dollars, which is a really good price for nail polish. And I really like the applicator because it's super, super wide and it gets your whole nail in like one swipe. So, so far I'm really liking this nail polish. I just wish that the color was a little bit more true to what you see on the sticker. Alright y'all, so that is everything I picked up recently from the drugstore. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see an update to this video, let me know in the comments and I can definitely do that after I put everything to the test. Um, but yeah, that is everything for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.